hello hello welcome back to my channel today i will be doing cilantro cream cheese chicken prepared by me and it is going to be delicious so make sure you sit down and make sure you write down these instructions Okay, you're gonna need some mushrooms, some brown sugar bourbon, chili powder, Montreal chicken, all by McCormick, garlic, Himalayan pink, you know I love that, and some olive oil of your choice, and so, some fresh cilantro, and some uninked paper towel, I will show you later why, and some toothpicks from your local store. You're gonna wash your chicken really well, get that fat off, okay? And then you're going to pat it dry with a clean, uninked paper towel and set it to the side, okay? Make sure you get all that excess water off because you want this seasoning that we put on this chicken to actually stick to the chicken. So, thank me later. You're gonna cut up your cilantro that's fresh. Oh, I love the smell of cilantro. It smells so good and fresh and cilantro is just good so if you never tried it get it today cilantro is in the produce section and it's fresh yes you caught me i dumped in some green peppers and onions that's already pre-chopped up do not judge me i was just getting off work but i wanted to do this video with you guys so i am chopping up the rest so don't judge me these veggies and the mushrooms that you're going to chop up, you're going to need this later on, okay? So I'm just getting it chopped up and getting it prepared for later because this dish is going to be delicious and you're going to love it. Okay, so I'm putting that to the side. Now it's time to get your olive oil and your half a cup of measurement out. So you're going to do a half a cup of olive oil and your chili powder. And you're gonna need a tablespoon of chili powder and you put it over in your olive oil. Just like so. And then you're gonna take your minced garlic. Yes, I forgot to tell you, you need that. Yes, you're gonna need that. And it's in your produce aisle in the grocery store. Minced garlic, people. You're gonna put a tablespoon of that in there and then you're gonna dump over your cilantro in that bowl and you're gonna just mix it all together. That's that secret sauce right there. Mm. Philadelphia cream cheese and your Himalayan garlic Himalayan powder and you're gonna just put that over in your cream cheese yeah I melted that a little bit though in the microwave just say like 40 some seconds I don't know and then you're gonna sprinkle your seasons in there and you're gonna stir it okay like so and it comes to a creamy oh it's so good now that's the secret real bacon bits and you pour it over in there and there you're that is it look that's that dip right there is good with just chips okay but if you want to cook your bacon and crumble it in there you can do that too all right stir it all together all right so here's the part that's tricky you're going to cut a slight pocket in the back part of the breast okay so you're gonna cut a little pocket see there a pocket so we're gonna be able to put the dip that we prepared with the Philadelphia cream cheese and we're just making a pocket for it and we're gonna put it over in there so make sure your toothpicks are nearby because you're gonna need your toothpicks now because your toothpicks are going to seal the pocket closed while it's baking so that's a very important measure okay so we got it all done now it's time to season the chicken so I'm gonna get my Himalayan pink garlic powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over so, like so you don't want to over season because like I said your sauce that you stirred up with your so fresh cilantro is basically your main sauce so I can't do no chicken without no seasoning I'm sorry so yeah I gotta put my seasoning on that I gave you at the beginning I got to put that on the chicken and you're gonna repeat that so oh yeah Italian you already know Y'all already know, when I give y'all a dish, I'm going to put that on any dish, okay? Repeat on the other side, please. Flip that chicken over carefully, carefully. Get your pan out. Mm -hmm. And place your chicken over in the pan. Boom. Now it's time to add the secret cilantro sauce. Oh my God. 
You're going to thank me later. You're going to preheat the oven to 375, okay? Preheat your oven to 375. And once it's preheated, you're going to put it in the oven and you're going to cook it for 45 minutes, okay? So make sure you cover it with aluminum foil before putting it in the oven. Some people don't. I prefer you do this dish like that. It just gives the chicken a little bit of tender. So put it in the oven 45 minutes. Then you can start on your veggies, let's say about 25 minutes in, you can start on your veggies, or maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes in. So don't take long to cook them, but this is completely optional. You do not have to do the veggies, but I always like to do my veggies with my meats because it's, it just tastes so good. It just gives the dish some, I don't know, something. I just like it, and plus I like the way it smells when you're cooking it. Oh. It's so good. Look at the mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms on any dish is good. I don't care what nobody say. Some people don't like mushrooms. I'm like, why not? You don't know how to season yours? Please. It's so delicious. And you already know, I'm adding seasonings. I just ain't showing y'all, but I am. Seasonings I pretty much use on my chicken. I'm using on that. And my Italian Pinch Perfect McCormick seasoning. Oh, that goes on everything. Y'all already know. And that's on these veggies. Oh, the veggies look so good. And I could just put that on top of my soul. Whatever. Here's the dish. And look, look at that. And you take your two picks out. And you take your two picks out. Honey, when I tell you that is some good food right here, put your veggies on top. You don't have to if you don't want to. That is your business. But honey, this dish right here make you want to slap your mama. Don't y'all go do that because I don't know how some of y'all mamas is. But honey, look how tender it looks. Oh, and it was. It was so good. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And I will see you in the next video.